Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this sweatshirt the last time I reported wearing it, but um, it goes with this year. So uh, it's <laughs> it's a McFarland Cougars sweatshirt from McFarland USA, which is still in theaters. And if you haven't seen it, you should go see it because it's very good. It's directed by Nikki Carroll. Um, I really enjoyed it. You can see that video a couple videos back. Um, whoa, there goes my computer. Um, I got the sweatshirt as swag um, at work. It's really comfy. It's like big enough to be a dress. Um, that's not actually what I was going to talk about. But then I realized that I had done like a week's worth of videos wearing this sweatshirt. And so I felt like I had to talk about it. Um, so tonight I watched... Uh, the new film by Ruba Nada, who um, a couple years ago she did Cairo Time, which was a film I really enjoyed. This one, not so much. This was called October Gale. It also starred Patricia Clarkson, who was in Cairo Time, um, and also Scott Speedman, and then in the last, like, 20 minutes, um, Tim Roth. And it's sort of... It sort of um, starts out as sort of as a, like a meditation on loss. Her husband has died, and she's gone to this island. It's in Canada. It's very Canadian. This movie is very Canadian. Ruben Ada is Canadian. Um, I think so is Patricia Clarkson. Uh, Scott Speedman's definitely Canadian. So um, she's dealing with the one-year anniversary of her husband's death, and she's going back to the island where he died to the um, cabin to like clean it out finally. And um, when a storm comes up, and her boat dies, and then a man with a gunshot wound um, shows up and, in, in, like, passes out on her floor. And she just happens to be a doctor, so she can fix it. And then more preposterous things happen, and it becomes a thriller. And then it has, like, a really stupid ending. And it, it was just kind of disappointing because Clarkson is such a good actress. She's good because she's always good. And Scott Speedman was very attractive. He has a really nice neck. Um... And Tim Roth got to have, like, his, like, Cockney accent, which is always good. But other than that, this movie, like, it, I read, read several reviews that said it felt like a first draft, and it kind of does feel like it needed to be, like, developed better. It just, it's just very limp film. Uh, the score is beautiful. The score is by, um, let's see if I can find the, who did the score. I don't know who the score is by, but the score is really gorgeous. Um... But that's really all the film's got going for it, which is sort of depressing. <laughs> um, it also looks beautiful. But it's just, it just doesn't work. Um, there's no tension. There's no, uh, there's no chemistry between Speedman and Clarkson. There's just, like, and then the, like, when it turns into a thriller, it just, none of it feels uh, real. It all feels just very forced depressing um it is in limited release right now and also available on vod from ifc films so if you're like a clarkson completist or like a huge scott speedman fan or a tim roth fan like you know you can rent it otherwise i would say skip it it's it's it'll probably end up on netflix at some point and then you can you know maybe watch it then um so, yes, that's October Gale. Uh, in America, tomorrow is uh, spring forward, so we're losing an hour, which sucks. And it's also, but everywhere, it's International Women's Day tomorrow, so you should watch a film by a woman and tweet about it um, because that's what you should do. It's International Women's Day. It's a fantastic day. Ah, uh, you... Use uh, hashtag a year with women if you do that, and I will retweet. Yes. Okay, have a nice day.